what's going on guys so actually a few days ago i didn't even know this thing existed or was a thing but apparently these things called the furries are a new thing but they're not so new because apparently they've been around for a long time and i want to give you my thoughts on it right off the bat i can tell that this person that's actually dressed up as a furry is under a strong delusion of an identity crisis they assume another identity that is not natural that was not given by god that was not assigned by god that is way out of the picture of what god intended in the first place i didn't hear of this apparently i heard about it the other day that there is even some locally and i had never seen them before right i just thought i'd do a bit more research on it and you know give you all my thoughts on on what i think about them watch to the end of the video guys like subscribe comment your thoughts i want to hear what you think i want to i want to chat with you okay person's in your name and fox costume um, not represented very well it is dumb though they've been a furry for over a decade they have yeah their see own they've opinions. been here for a while it's crazy that it's escalated to this point where these kids are being so distracting to their peers that they're okay so even young people are being affected by this that's crazy peers want to stage a walkout or to have you know the next generation kind of Person's muddy our name and Fox costume. Um, not represent it very well it is kind of disappointing not represented very well well this thing shouldn't exist in the first place god made man and god made woman people had gone as far even in, back in the days of sodom and gomorrah they went as far as as sodomy and you know the skittles community and assumed things of themselves that they are not it's not natural so people nowadays are not satisfied with switching genders now they want to be animals doesn't this feel a little eerie to you it might look like fun and it might look innocent to some but when you can discern you can discern this is evil this this stuff is i get an eerie feeling off of it well that's that's the first thing i i felt uh when i saw these things i'm like i felt this this feels dark this doesn't feel like <laughs> like it's supposed to be funny games this feels this has an evil spirit behind it actually strudel believes there should be some limits strudel so i'm telling you not only did they take the form of an animal as in like in their identity they that's what they believe now they're giving themselves different names guys those that are spiritual this has unclean spirit written all over it it's written all over it it's obvious and what is it what do i mean by an unclean spirit a demon this has a demon written all over it what are demons demons are disembodied spirits they are they are personalities without a body you got spirit of fear and right now this looks like this unclean spirit is infecting the identity in the person's mind i i believe that these people that dress like this have had their mind fragmented by the enemy and i say this with a broken heart they have no idea that they're victims to demonic entities they're not victims they're slaves okay they need Jesus just like we all do. I need Jesus. Without him, I can't breathe. He's my IV. And just like he's my IV, they they need Jesus as their IV. Everybody in this world needs Jesus to be their IV. IV is that thing you plug into your, your vein. I believe after you have surgery and it, it keeps you running. Your fluids and, and stuff like that. But what I mean by that is that Jesus is your source of everything. And Jesus is only good. There's no evil in him. He does not cast a shifting shadow. Okay? And just like we need Jesus, they need Jesus. They need to be reached, they need to be prayed for, they need to be interceded for. This is nothing new under the sun. This is shouldn't be out of this world, you know, it's being added to the LGTV community, aka the Skittles community, the rainbow. The original rainbow was a promise from God to Noah and twisted in definition and in, in, in representation, sadly. Right. But we still have to love these people. We still have to choose to love these people. We don't, I don't agree with their lifestyle. They can be set free and this is not what God has for them. God has something very, very special for all their lives. It's just that right now they're blinded by the veil. They're blinded by by the enemy, right? You can I could I picture like demonic entities just like have their claws in front of their eyes, uh, so they can't see the truth. They're under strong delusion. They've taken up and they've assumed something that they are not and was never meant to be natural. Right. This is unclean spirit. And it's, it's very odd. Apparently, they're protesting because their fellow students have assumed the identity of what's called the furry. And they've even began to bite each other, to growl at each other, and to bark at each other. Guys, what does this remind you of? What it, how, how was, what was the personality and, and the characteristic of, of Legion? Hmm? What was the, the characteristic of the boy that threw himself into the fire? It was unnatural and they were compelled by something to do it. Guys, this makes it a lot more obvious. Uh,
people that assume the fairy identity are under the power and influence of an unclean spirit. Guys, watch this. Even their fellow classmates are processing it. You would think that just because they're young people that they will go along with the flow. Class, is that right? Yeah, they fight, they fight kids. They fight people. They fight people. They will fight ankles. The principal doesn't get to make them get in trouble. Yeah. All the principal says is just be kind, be nice, be nice. And how else do they attack you guys? They either bite us, they scratch us, they... they bite, scratch. They, they spray us the on us. And then they get in trouble with you. And they run on all... Okay, so they're all talking at the same time. I can't really understand what they're saying. But what I did pick up is that they bite, scratch, and growl, and bark. Guys, that's what demons do. <laughs> that's the personality of a, of a demon, right? Uh, of an unclean spirit, right? And I say this with a broken heart. I'm not saying that these people are proactively in league with demons. What I mean is that they're slaves without even knowing. And you know, every encounter one of these, preach the gospel. Tell them about Jesus. Tell them that Jesus wants to set them free from their captivity. That Jesus loves them. They're loved. Some people assume these identities because they lack love and they feel like they have to be something else in order to seek approval. In this case, they hide their identity so they don't like being who they are, right? And you know, God has a plan and he has a purpose for every single one of those people. God loves him. God sent Jesus to die for these people. They are no less than we are, okay? They have a soul and that soul to God is, is precious, right? They're lost. And deliverance is the answer to all this, right? Not only deliverance has in casting the demon out, but deliverance of the soul, of the mind. Their mind has to be delivered because their mind has been fragmented by the devil. Everything gets solved with letting Jesus in. And it's very simple like that, guys. We don't have to complicate it. And we don't have to come up with the correct words to tell them. You know, if you ever encounter one, ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, put your words in my mouth. I pray that you show them your heart. And I pray that they see your heart in me. So that they can turn to you and that you be glorified and they repent and turn to you. Alright guys, so that was it for this video guys. I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the fairy community? You think there's a demonic influence behind it or not? I want to hear your comments. Comment down below. Like, share the video. I'll see you all next time. God bless you.